Hi, I'm Laurie Grunin, Senior Editor at CNET, and this is the Fujifilm X-T1. There's tons to like about Fujifilm's weather-sealed, cold-resistant, interchangeable lens camera. It delivers great photo quality and excellent continuous shooting speed in a pretty comfortable to shoot body that's mostly well designed. I say mostly because while I generally like shooting with the X-T1, there are a few design quirks that make me kind of crazy. On the good side, it's got a sufficiently big and pretty comfortable grip, manual dials for ISO sensitivity, shutter speed, and exposure compensation, and a bright, tilting LCD. Plus, the viewfinder's terrific. It's big with several different views for manually focusing, including a dual view and a digital split image view, plus focus peaking. Like the rest of the recent generation of X-Series cameras, I really enjoy it for street photography. But I really don't like the drive mode control, the movie record button, or the navigation buttons. While the ISO and shutter speed dials lock, the drive mode switch doesn't, and the single shooting selection's right in the middle. The combination resulted in my constantly, accidentally switching out of single shooting into burst mode. And the movie record navigation buttons are really flat. I frequently had to push the nav buttons with my fingernail and ended up with videos of me walking down the sidewalk because I thought I'd pressed the movie end button but hadn't. These are especially problematic in cold weather when you're wearing gloves. Based on the same 16.3 megapixel X-Trans CMOS 2 sensor as the X-E2, but with some tweaking to lower the noise, the X-T1 delivers the same great photo quality. JPEGs are clean up to ISO 800, and depending upon content, can be usable as high as ISO 6400. Unfortunately, like the X-E2, raw port's not available in the expanded ISO sensitivity range. The X-T1 delivers a great continuous shooting rate of around 7.9 frames per second at a pretty deep burst of around 30 frames, and that's with autofocus and reasonably fast saves to the card. But the rest of its performance is just okay. There's no on-camera flash, but otherwise it provides a well-rounded feature set, including Wi-Fi and an intervalometer. Fujifilm's camera remote app is nicer than most. For instance, it lets you zoom when you're browsing remotely, which many apps don't. But the camera could really use NFC to simplify connecting to Android. All in all, the X-T1 isn't perfect, but it's a great camera, and the best of Fujifilm's X-Series models to date. I'm Laurie Grunin, and this is the Fujifilm X-T1.